San Pedro Ambergris Key. Can you do it affordably? Hey, it's Linda in Belize. This video is in follow-up to the one I did on Placencia. And here we're going to show some affordable places to stay in San Pedro, along with some of our favorite affordable eating places. We go to San Pedro about every month because it's a great place to shop and it's a party place, which was great for New Year's. John also loves to go there to play pool because they have great tournaments at Casey's every weekend. So for breakfast, let's go to Sandra's Deli. This is a great local place, and I've been told that there's huge lineups at lunch, but for breakfast, not bad. So the omelet is only 10 Belize dollars, and it's a large portion. You could also do a chicken burrito for only 5 Belize dollars, but I'm more of a bacon or ham kind of person for breakfast. So the omelet came also with cheese, beans, and a tortilla, and it is large enough for both John and I to share, which is great. You could also get juice, but we bring our Yeti cup with us. So 10 Belize for breakfast so far. So this is one of the affordable places in San Pedro. It's the place you get pupusas, and it's right on Middle Street in town here. So you can see that they have pupusas all day long. So let's look at the menu for the pupusas here. So you can actually get three for 10 Belize dollars, and they have all kinds of different choices. So it has so much cheese on it. Oh. Everything's better with Marie Sharp hot sauce. So far today, we're at 20 Belize dollars. So what about a golf cart rental? They range in price. I've seen as high as 75 US dollars per day, but I do have a guy that I can refer you to for 35 a day. So reach out if you want that contact. I definitely recommend a golf cart because the island is 26 miles and there's a lot to see and do. So I'm here at Playtime Sports at Sankas Plaza. Sunset Lounge is way up top. And one of my favorite eating places is right here. So you can see that it says hamburger right here. It's really great what they're making here. So they're grilling onions. So for the prices, you can get the special burger for eight Belize. So that is a hamburger with a hot dog on it. You'll see it in a minute. And then the special hot dog is six Belize, or you can get four tacos for 10 Belize. So with my special hamburger for eight Belize, my total for the day for food is 28 Belize, 14 US dollars, so very affordable. Next, I'm gonna talk about some accommodation options. The first one's a hostel, which I've even stayed at because it has private rooms. For Sandbar, one of the reasons I recommend it is due to the location. It's right on the beach in the Boca del Rio area, right across from Palapa Bar. So if you want the party scene, this is kind of the start of the party bar area. And of course, right on the water. So if I book a stay or look at a stay from April 19th to 21st with four guests, there are many different options available for me. And the first one are the dorm rooms, of course. So 34 for two nights, 30 US for two nights, so 15 US at night, really affordable. Now, if you're looking for a private room, they have quite a few different options depending on what you're looking for and how many people. So you could get the private queen double room for 110 US, 55 US a night, or you have rooms that fit four people. The double queen bunk room is one example, 120 US for two nights, so 60 US a night, but the minimum stay is two nights. And finally, the apartment, which has an occupancy of five people, and it's 270 US for two nights, so 135 US, so very affordable rates, even for the private rooms. And there is even a little pool at the sandbar, so it is a great place to stay on the affordable side. Even if you're looking to come check out Belize for a month, Sandbar is an option. I had a friend that did that and I just looked up June 1st to June 30th and you can see the triple private room is available there for 2,088 US. Much more affordable than say Airbnb in most cases. Right behind Sandbar is another option called Drift In. And so you can see they even have this room with uh, many beds here. So you can see this is the family room and there's a pool here and there's different rooms so let's look at the rates so this is the drift in in san pedro so the dorm room with three bunk beds and ensuite bathroom and lockers 15 to 25 us you can also do a private room with a queen bed and private bathrooms on the first floor ranges between 55 and 75 us the king bed room with the private bathroom on the second floor 75 to 95 us and that family room i already showed which also has a private bathroom for 100 us so again, another really affordable option, and it's really close to the beach 
right in town. The last short-term rental I want to show is the Best Western Grand Bayman Garden. I really like this place because they're individual condos. So if you're not the hostel type but you want something affordable, the Best Western does have a fantastic swimming pool. There's water aerobics there. And there's a fantastic gym and pickleball course. And rates start from $123.12 US dollars. And the other thing I wanted to talk about uh, uh, for the Best Western is the fact that you can do long-term rentals there as well. So what is the long-term rental rate? Well, I have a condo available for 1100 US plus utilities, and it is small dog friendly. The other thing I want to mention is that it's always best to book direct if you can. So if you need contact information at all, make sure you reach out to me. So I hope this video has showed that you can stay in San Pedro affordably. As always, if you have any questions about Belize, make sure you reach out. And if you're not sure what part of Belize is best for you, check out our next tour that's in March. In this tour, we show both San Pedro and Placencia with a stop in Hopkins and some other options as well. Hope to see you soon in Belize.